Hello and welcome to the Chelsea Fans Channel. Now, as the old proverb says, good things happen to those who wait. And uh, I think you'll all agree that we Chelsea fans have been waiting far, far too long for this news. But news, it is all the same. And I'm delighted, delighted, underlined in triple red, to let you know that Chelsea Football Club, at long, long last, have offered John Terry a one-year extension. Now, oh, we can all breathe a collective sigh out now. Now, by no means the deal is done. In the week, um, John Terry met up with Bruce Buck and a couple of the other bigwigs and he was offered a one-year deal. Now, as we know, this should have happened a lot, lot earlier in the season. Uh, you know, the speculation around Terry has been building and building and building in recent months. You know, when I woke up this morning, I was pretty sure that John Terry was going to be uh, playing in China this time next year. So the fact that this has come through today has really, really, really got me excited. However, it's not a done deal and Terry has still, um, you know, he's still got to go through the contract and decide whether or not he's going to be a Chelsea player next year. Now, I think that we know John Terry, right? We know that he doesn't want to go to China. We know he wants to play in a blue shirt. We know he wants to be at Stamford Bridge next season. So we are hoping, fingers and toes and everything else crossed, that he's going to do the right thing and sign on the dotted line. Now, me and Chelsea Rory are going to Stamford Bridge tonight and we're going to the end of season presentation dinner, which we are absolutely buzzing about. We'll do a little video on this later on today. We'll have our whistles on and we'll be looking all lovely. So when we're there, we're going to hopefully get a little bit of time with John Terry, even if we have to sort of drag him away from the buffet or whatever it's going to be. And we're going to say, John, you've got to, got to, got to sign the new deal. Um, you know, you don't get to be a, a, you know, a captain of a Premier League team like Chelsea and play over 700 appearances for a team like Chelsea without being special. And John Terry is special. He's a special footballer. He's a special man in all of our hearts. And just words can't express how... how Bloody happy I am right now at the moment. Um, it worked. It just goes to show you that fan power works. You know, the big wigs do listen to the little guys sometimes. And it's things like the banner that we unveiled at Anfield last week. It's little, you know, thank you to everybody who, um, who shared our, you know, the image of our banner. Thanks to everybody who supported the things that we've been doing, you know, over the recent months to try and get, you know, raise attention to the to, to the John Terry situation and you know what people it worked fan power eventually if you keep banging on the door eventually someone might open it if you're lucky enough don't matter how late it is this is the late 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 show but there's still one game in the season yes uh, left yes he's not playing he's suspended who gives a damn he's been offered the contract and that's all we care about um you know Liverpool they, they showed us earlier on in the season that fan power can work. You know, they had their protest and the big wigs at Anfield paid attention and, you know, a change was made. You know, us Chelsea fans, we were thinking that our club really, when it came to the board and stuff like that, any messages that we were putting out were potentially falling on deaf ears. But, you know what, we can all get surprised. And today I've been surprised because it turns out that Bruce Buck and his mates and all, all the big wigs, they do listen because... You know, what we've done is get our sentiment across and that sentiment has been listened to and Chelsea have done all they can do now. They've offered him the contract. It's in JT's hands. He's got to accept it or not. We all hope he accepts it. Me and Rory are going to be in his ear tonight making sure he accepts it. But until then, um, just want to say thank you very much. Blue is the colour. We're all happy as Larry. See you at Stamford Bridge later on. Welcome to the Chelsea Fans Channel. Now, like you, we are distraught with the news that John Terry is looking like he's played his last game for the club. We need to do something about it. We need to urge the club to give him a new contract. And that's what this is about.